Welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about adding black fills and why it's important when you ink. Black fills basically anchor your inked drawing and make it look solid. In this video, we'll talk about another thing that you can use with your inking techniques. You can add texture to uh, better distinguish objects from one another, and you can also add hatching to evoke the idea of some grayscale values, all using black and white. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll make a new layer above my black fills layer. I'll just call this texture, just so I can keep track of things. And I'll zoom in and let's take a look and see what we can do. Well, we have to think about what this drawing represents here. She-Hulk is lifting this vehicle and the parts underneath the vehicle are going to be darker, right? There's not gonna be any direct light. You might have some bounced light hitting the axle of this truck but we can render those things with grayscale. Now, how do we do grayscale without using actually gray colors? We can just use hatching. So I'll come back in and add some hatch marks. And what that does is it adds this idea of something that is dark, but not as dark as our black fills. And this is something that is very, very important. And the closer these lines are to one another, the darker it's going to look. So this is where I think making your brush size a little bit smaller can also be helpful. So that's adding some hatching. I can continue that hatching over here. You know, knowing that this is a megaphone, the lines may get lighter and more further apart as we move away from the center part of the megaphone. black fill that I forgot, another black fill area here, and that's okay. Sometimes we'll get a little bit sloppy with this stuff. And textures um, have to do with like, okay, what is this made of? Maybe there's some fabric. Maybe this is made out of wood and there's some shadow underneath. So you see how those little things kind of make your drawing more solid? Uh, let's take a look and see what else I can add some texture to. Well, I've got these little rocks and other debris. So as She-Hulk is picking up this truck, Little bits and bobs are kind of like spilling out. Dust is always a really neat thing to add to your drawings if you're dealing with something that involves action. It just kind of makes it seem like you're capturing something in mid-movement. Um, other things for texture, um, I'm gonna add a little shadow underneath Howard's chin. Um, he's got, um, Let's see, we've got the fabric here. Maybe for the papers, we have some little, what looks like writing. It's like maybe part of a script. And these lines are gonna be enough to indicate that. Maybe we have, uh, if she's wearing a bangle or some other element like that, maybe we see some little highlights, right? Think about the material that is across all of your objects. Maybe this hubcap here is more shiny and so on and so forth. So you wanna really carefully think about material as you work. So with just black and white, we're able to go ahead and convey something that looks like it occupies space and has mass and volume all through your inks. The one thing I didn't add here is some kind of a background. Uh, I just purposely left that out in this example, but you know, maybe you add a uh, horizon line. I'm putting that on its own layer here. Why? Because then I can easily clean it up. I can just cut out those parts of the line that overlap with the rest of the drawing. And then I can 
put a few other elements in here just to kind of make it seem like it's much more anchored to the ground. Maybe there might be a sense of some shadows that are underneath the car here. And that just gives it much more mass and solidity. Now that wasn't in the original pencils, right? But that's where you as the artist has to think about it. Where's the light source coming from? Um, you know, what is going to be covered in shadow? What is going to be well lit? And that will give you a good start. Even over here, there might be, you know, a sense of like, this is shiny plastic, perhaps. So there's a lot more to inking than just tracing an outline. It's about having line confidence. It's about being able to convey form and structure. And it's also about conveying texture and making your objects weighty. So I hope you found this video to be informative. I look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks so much for watching.